welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I was just looking at my van. Remember the very first level where this van was the only thing we needed to clean? Got rid of that one in about five minutes, maybe less. Okay, so now I have to clean this giant fire station. I've been, uh... This doesn't look like much, but I've been diligently working on the drill tower, where they uh, practice their uh, well, their drills. Climb to the top, put out all the fires, climb back down. And you have to do it in full gear while dragging a hose. Well, they also time you, as I understand it. Shout out to Justin Jones. He says, question, would the Doom Slayer give a shit about the atmospheric conditions on Mars? Maybe he could rip and tear that, too. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like he would probably have even less trouble than the Doom 3 guy did. I was also going to point out that he uh, genuinely has less problem with that, because, uh... Well, the Doom 3 guy was just wearing, a uh, uh, like a flak vest and a helmet, I think. But, uh, the Doom Slayer wears power armor. And in Doom 2016, the one I've played, it covered his entire body. Though, of course, the new armor in Doom Eternal uh, expo has exposed panels to make sure you can see his biceps. And I did see someone suggest that since there are bits where you go outside in that one, that suggests that the Doom Slayer's skin is pressure resistant. The first floor of the inside here, because it's really depressing every time I walk by the door. What's this? It's the leftovers of uh, Disturb, I guess. It's funny. For years, I have said on my Let's Plays that uh, when you design a sequence in a video game, you want people to say afterwards, that was fun. But that a lot of uh, such sequences in video games end with the player instead saying, ugh, at least I never have to do that again. I believe the first time I ever said that in a series was the asteroid sequence from, uh... Well, the original, original Dead Space. I don't even know if that sequence is in the new one. I have seen nothing of that game. No! There's more goddamn rust on the stairs! Okay, that can wait. I don't need it to ding. I just need to be able to walk past the door without sighing. You know, I bet you could clean up a fire really, really quickly with a power washer, but at the same time, I feel like it would be really, really easy for that to just shove the burning embers everywhere before the water extinguishes them. So it might be a really bad fucking idea. Sick. 
I wonder if it's at all possible. Okay, so you can remove the rust with the red nozzle. Not impossible. Oh, maybe you just have to be real up close like that. But, the, but holy fuck, does that ever become easier with the, uh... With the proper soap. Then it just goes away like any other dirt. I wonder. What if I just hold this all day? Will the yellow, will even the white one erase it? So how are the kids? No, probably not. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't have the spinny nozzle. Oh well. I suppose it's probably for the best that there's none underneath the surface, because otherwise there'd be a hole in that. Oh yeah, much better. Let's get the ceiling up here. that. There'll be plenty of that afterwards. Hmm. I wonder if I can stick my head out those windows. They are pretty big windows. Ooh. Oh, that is helpful. Well, not that, but if I go up here... More, once again, looks like a crack house. Because all the walls are shitty. Sort of sweeping a blade of water by pressing at the uh, side of the spray against the wall. Honestly, why is there so much mud over there? I found the fucking windowsill and everything. Sill only had one L in the sill part. As opposed to in the window part, which is supposed to have a bunch of L's, I guess. I don't know why I put it that way. <laughs> I caught sight of the arse that I'd forgotten I'd put there. And I feel like a goofy laugh is the appropriate response to that. <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Well, now I'm mostly just amused that I was so amused by something as simple as the word arse, but... Fucker, let's do this. Ooh, 
18 percent. If I can get two more, we can get a uh, text update from the client. Oh, I really don't know what he would be saying here, because I feel like it's fairly self-explanatory what happened to the drill tower. Hey, just a thought. Isn't there supposed to be a fire truck at the fire station? They don't need that to save cats, do they? Also, does that actually happen in real life? Like, I mean, firefighters rescuing cats from trees. I've literally never heard of this happening outside of a cartoon. But it's such a universal, like, trope. No! It's a good thing Dr. Power Wash is a perpetual. They're not just eternal, they're immortal. Unless you destroy their souls. Unfortunately, uh, perpetuals exist in the Warhammer 40k universe, which means there's PLENTY of shit that wants to destroy their souls. I mean, Slaan S should do it for fun. And because it gives them a boner. It's like a hundred feet away, and I still refle uh, reflexively stopped spraying when the radical moved over arse. There is no rhyme or reason to this cleaning at all. I feel like I might be more... ...controlled over when I'm working on the actual firehouse. Harper Shaw! It's my friend! Hey, how's Trick? Still loving spraying your jet around? I mean, not when you put it so lewdly. Narrowly missed out on another RV today. The thing was uglier than a chihuahua chewing a wasp, but within my little wasp chewing choo choo. <sighs> Thanks, Harper. <laughs> It's intentional that Harper Shaw was given a uh, gender-neutral name, so that you can imagine them however you want. I did is turn around, yet I seem to have rotated my feet out into open space. I think aside from it being unnecessary, a big part of the reason that the reticle disappears when you're spraying is because you won't necessarily hit everything inside the reticle. 
you know, angling and such. Good God. Oh, right, there's this side of the building. Fuck! Oh, oh! I can stand on these little, uh, uh, d d wall frames. D? Oh, it's not a D, that's... It's a cat head with wings on either side. That better not be a memorial, or I'm gonna get really pissed that someone hired me to destroy it. Like, seriously, you hire Dr. Power Wash to, uh... <laughs> yeah, you hire Dr. Power Wash to remove, like, a, a monument, to, uh, a, a mural on the wall that's a memorial to someone who died, and I'm pretty sure his response is going to be, Oh, I have a thought about this. Actually, fuck this! And he's just gonna leave. His job is to, you know, his, no, no, his calling is to destroy dirt and leave the world looking beautiful. Destroying a monument does not make the world more beautiful, only less loving. Unless it's a monument to all your sins, in which case, go nuts! Please, I, I implore you. That particular monument does not need to stick around, no matter how much it says to the otherwise. Why am I still spraying the inside wall? God damn, there, there's time for that. This is doable. This is doable. I do that a lot, repeating words. I never really thought about it. Until I got stopped dead in my tracks by the realization that I do that. And that when I was a kid, one of my favorite fictional characters was Jacob Tutu. From the Mordecai Richler novels. I think it was Mordecai Richler. Who was, of course, the youngest child in a very large family, which meant that no one ever listens to him. Which means that he ended up getting the nickname Tutu for his habit of saying absolutely everything twice. Well, not absolutely everything. It would be like, uh, Okay, I need to go to the store and pick up uh, two pounds of firm, fresh tomatoes. Two pounds of firm, fresh tomatoes. I'm thinking to myself, did I like that series because the kid reminded me of me? Because I didn't notice at the time. It would have been subconscious. And I realized later that, uh... I went back, right back to it while I was Lego talking. Lego talking means trying to focus on your actions and your words at the same time and accomplishing neither. Okay. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna go try to catch myself on one of those, uh, 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 wall frames again. Uh, here. Uh, multi-purpose. Good, 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 good. Wait. Oh, yes, PV. The, the, uh, the logo that's also on my power washer, if you look towards the back. What's it look like in the default screen? Oh, it's much easier to see the PV there. What does it say? The Prime Vista, of course, of course. I oh, know, I just changed the skin. Yes, 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 yes. I thought about going with the, uh, the Alice skin for this level, but... Man, there's nothing whimsical about fire stations. They're do, they do important things. Uh, 
I remember seeing a post on the internet a while back saying, uh, you know, there was someone had claimed that people only hate cops because they're public servants, to which someone replied, uh, you know, you say people hate public servants. I've never seen anyone write a song called Fuck the Fire Department. Damn it. Man, I can't even fire from up here. Ah! And again, ladder, no ladder. Can't even le lean it against this fence or anything. No, no. If I pick up the scaffolding, it might not count. How am I going to get this? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because there is the timer. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, that picture of the kitty up there. But hey, the front of the building looks way the fuck better. Let me see if I can get that top lip and make it look way, way better from the front. Took me a while to notice that uh, even the body of the power washer extends when you do that. Yeah, like that. Should have stopped at one of the windows. In fact, instead of trying to drop in down like that, I will just do this. Okay. angle. It's almost like this isn't the ideal way to do this, so that's why they're rewarding doing it. It's right there, man! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're talking. No, we're not. So I can see it at all from here. It's right under me. Okay, okay. This doesn't feel awkward or anything. Thank God. No! Okay, fine. <laughs> ah! Oh! It's just too far. Okay. Maybe I'll we'll have to get some friends in here and stack us on top of each other. No, seriously, if you stand... Maybe if I stand right here and have a friend cr climb up that window... To be on my head, and I can run around with him on me. Which came out entirely the wrong way, but you know what I meant. I just give myself an... Let me just... Let me just give myself... Yes, perfect. Arse eye view. I'm standing on this bit here. I mean, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. Wait a minute. No, no, too far. Okay. That's a pool ladder. Oh, well, I'm not going to get on their back for uh, reusing uh, assets. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we continue cleaning the firehouse, and Muckingham gets just a little bit prettier. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!